Hi, third grade. It's Miss Smith again. Um, I know if you watched the last video, I talked a little bit about perimeter. So we're going to review what is perimeter. Perimeter is the distance all the way around the whole object. When we are looking for perimeter, we follow the equation of length plus length plus width plus width. And that will give us the perimeter. But today we're going to look at how can I find the perimeter of a rectangle or a square when there are missing side lengths? So if you'll look right here, we have a rectangle. And let's just kind of review what we know about a rectangle. A rectangle has four straight sides. We also know that opposite sides are equal to each other. So today, let's kind of look at this rectangle and let's try to figure out what are these missing sides. So when we look at this rectangle, we can see that there are some things that we know right off the bat. We know that this side equals 10 units and this side equals five units. But as you see, we are missing this side length and this side length. So let's kind of figure out how can I figure out what these two sides links are. Well, like we said before, in a rectangle, the opposite sides are the same length. So if this side is 10, what is this side? This side would be 10 units because opposite sides on a rectangle are equal. So if this side is five units, what would be this side? Well, this side would be five units too because it is opposite sides. Now that we have figured out the missing sides, now we can find the perimeter. Now remember, perimeter equals length plus length plus width plus width. So let's take a look at our lengths. So our lengths here are 10 plus 10, then plus our widths, which would be five, plus five. So now let's add those up. What is 10 plus 10? 20. What is five plus five? 10. So now let's add those together. What is 20 plus 10? 30. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 30. So now let's look at the next shape, which is a square. And let's kind of review, what do we know about a square? Well, we know that a square has four straight sides. But what we also know about those four straight sides is that they are equal in length. So let's take a look. What do we know about this square? Well, we know that this side equals eight and this side equals eight. But we notice that we don't have all of the sides lengths. So let's think about a square. We said all of the sides have to equal the same length in order for it to be a square. So if this side is eight, then this side must be eight. And if these three sides are eight, then this one has to be eight. So now let's find the perimeter since we have all of the sides. In order to find perimeter, we must have the lengths and the widths. So remember, perimeter equals length plus length plus width plus width. So here we go, let's find the perimeter. What are the lengths? It would be eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. So let's go ahead and let's add those up. What is eight plus eight? That would be 16. What is eight plus eight? 16. And then let's add 16 plus 16. So what is 16 plus 16? That would be 32. So the perimeter of this shape is 32. And that is how you find the missing side lengths of a rectangle and a square. And then that's also how you find 
perimeter once you find the missing side links.